Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the 29th series of Principles of Drug Discovery. In this video, we are going to see about rational drug design. So, what is a rational drug design? A rational drug design is a systematic and theoretically driven approach to design and synthesis of compounds that specifically target and modulate the specific biological processes. It involves using computational techniques and a detailed understanding of molecular interactions and structures involved in a particular process to design and synthesis compounds that are likely to have desired biological activity. In rational drug design, the starting point is typically a detailed understanding of the target molecule or a biological pathway that is involved in a particular disease or condition. A rational drug design involves knowledge of 3D structure of the target molecule and the chemical reactions that are involved in and the interactions it has with other molecules. Using this information, the researchers can design and synthesize compounds that are likely to interact specifically with the target molecule in a way that modulates its activity. This can be done through a variety of computational techniques including computer-aided drug design, molecular docking, and molecular dynamic simulations. A rational drug design has the potential to be more efficient and effective than the traditional approaches as it is based on a more detailed understanding of the underlying biological process and the molecular interactions involved in a particular disease or condition. However, it, it can also be more challenging and time-consuming as it requires a detailed understanding of the molecular mechanisms involved and the ability to design and synthesize compounds that specifically target those mechanisms. So first step in uh, rational drug design is target identification. Uh, first is uh, genetic and genomic approaches. It involves identification of genes or proteins that are associated with a particular disease of condition and that may be the potential targets for drug invention. Biochemical approaches, it involves identifying the enzymes or biomolecules that are involved in a particular biological pathway and that can be the potential targets for drug invention. Structural approaches, this involves X-ray crystallography or NMR or homology modeling, threading or ab initio methods to determine the 3D structure of the target molecule and identify the potential binding sites for the drug molecules. The next is uh, you can see from this diagram uh, numerous uh, things are involved in the target identification like uh, bioinformatics, molecular modeling, chem chemoinformatics which involves pharmacology, molecular biology, genomics, proteomics and medicinal chemistry which are useful in target identification. Step 2 is identification of potential leads. So, your lead molecule may be, uh, you may get from natural sources or synthetic sources. So, the natural sources uh, includes uh, microbial flora uh, or animals, uh, marine sources or metabolites from the human origin. And synthetic sources uh, may be from biosynthesis, full synthesis, molecular modification, semi-synthesis, stereochemistry or combinatorial. Uh, synthesis and getting the da leads from the uh, database libraries. Step 3 is molecular docking. Molecular docking involves uh, predicting the binding uh, of a small molecule to a protein or biomolecule by simulating the interactions between them. It can be used to identify the potential compounds that are likely to bind to a target molecule and to optimize their structures and properties. So you can uh, see this, uh, first you get the target and you bind with a ligand, you get a complex and study the interactions. So first you have to get the target proteins, then you can get the target ligands, then you do a molecular docking, then you study the interactions. Next is molecular dynamics. Molecular dynamic simulations involve using computational techniques to model the movement and interactions of atoms and molecules over time. They can be used to predict the activity and potential binding of a compound to the target molecule and to optimize their structure and properties. 
so you can see uh, when an atom interacts uh, from a lead or a hit it interacts with the uh, target uh, proteins it causes numerous interactions which could be studied with molecular dynamics so it is the interaction of all the atoms put together it calculates the energy levels and that is called molecular dynamics next is lead optimization you can synthesize uh, the leads and optimize it based on the results of molecular modeling or molecular dynamics uh, research design and synthesize compounds that are likely to interact specifically with the target molecule in a way that it modulates its activity these compounds are then tested and optimized through iterative rounds of synthesis and testing to improve their activity specificity and other properties next is uh, so you can see this uh, the next step is uh, step 5 is lead optimization identify the lead molecule for the selected target modify the lead that is optimize the lead to increase its uh, drug likeness so the optimized lead uh, molecule can be taken for further stages of drug discovery then is preclinical testing so preclinical testing involves uh, cell based assays then uh, enzymatic or uh, microarray technologies can be used then preclinical testing in drosophila or zebrafish or uh, rodent models or human uh, primates uh, can be studied then so you can see in the rational drug design uh, the compound collections that is the lead, optimized lead undergoes primary assays secondary assays then uh, it then you can do modifications parallelly the entire thing put together is called the high throughput screening for a separate video is available for high throughput screening which you can go through also so in rational drug design uh, there are library collections and literature data qsr modeling then uh, large chemical libraries are screened the it goes virtual screening in vitro assays in vivo assays and the synthesis of the prioritized compounds put together it is called high throughput screening let us see the differences between traditional and uh, rational drug discovery strategies first is target selection the selection of compounds for screening in traditional drug discovery is based on chemical diversity and availability the focus is on finding molecules that exhibit desired biological activity without necessarily knowing how they interact with the target but in case of rational drug design the selection of uh, compounds based on their predicted ability to bind their targets active site and modulate its activity the selection is guided by computational methods such as molecular docking structural uh, based virtual screening which help prioritize compounds with the highest likelihood of success the next is target validation in traditional discovery uh, the initial target identification may be based on uh, disease association or known biological pathways but understanding the target structure and function might be limited but in case of rational drug design a comprehensive understanding of three dimensional structure and function of the target proteins are done this knowledge allows researchers to identify critical binding sites and design compounds that interact with the target in a specific and effective manner the next is uh, the success rate the traditional approach can be time consuming and consuming and expensive due to extensive high throughput screening of large compound libraries it often has a relatively low success rate in identifying the compounds that uh, progress through the drug development pipeline but rational drug design aims to streamline the drug discovery process by focusing on smaller set of compounds with a higher predicted activity against the target the target approach uh, or the rational approach increases the efficiency and success rate of the drug development so it's a very short information of uh, rational drug design or rational drug discovery i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends kindly subscribe to our uh, pharma topics channel if you like this video kindly press the like button go through all the series of videos and uh, succeed in your exams thank you